Jody Hopper resides and works out of her Mount Jackson home. Working seven days a week, she raises butterflies from the time they are still in the egg to after they hatch from their chrysalis. The business, it's always. If, if I'm not raising now in the winter time, it's website. Hopper is always working with these insects. Each type of butterfly requires different surroundings in order to reproduce and live. Monarchs actually have to have milkweed. And I have an attached greenhouse up there and I have milkweed growing in it that I actually well, feed them. But what does she do with all of the butterflies, you may ask? Here at Wish Upon a Butterfly, they ship butterflies nationwide, from across the street, clear over to California. And they arrive alive. People use these butterflies during weddings, funerals, and charity benefits. The packing process for the butterflies involves six so pieces make of sure styrofoam, right two right ice packs, and plenty of tissue paper. The ice helps to keep them cool, putting the butterflies in a hibernation type of trance. Once you receive your butterflies, it is necessary to let them warm up for about two hours before like attempting the live release. Pet Hopper the also includes a series of poems that can be read during the release about the symbol of a butterfly. <laughs> the fact of it going from the caterpillar into this, into the butterfly, from that going into the butterfly signifies this new life. So, and, and a lot of the cancer survivors, that's, mm -hmm. you know, when they release the butterflies. And with the, what's starting to pick up also is being released at funerals. You can view these poems and also place an order through their website. Reporting from North Beaver Township, I'm Angela Tucker for the County Line. About the only way to get it out is... To